Hey folks, welcome back to uh, Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent, actually Puzzle Agent 2 to be precise, that's right. We have moved on, <coughs> excuse me, to the second game in the series. After the um, rather a cliffhanger-ish ending of the first game, where uh, we found Isaac Dapner, the foreman of the Scoggins Racer Factory, and then he got um, group hugged by a bunch of Malicious, malicious malignant gnomes and dragged off to who the hell even knows where and there's something about space and I, I I don't even know anyway let's go back to Scoggins Nelson Tethers Department of Puzzle Research just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Oh, that, that is Nelson. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local Listening eraser to his, factory. Um, Locals report hearing whispers. Old notes from the, uh, from the first Snow case. Must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... So he's, uh, he's reminiscing. Uh, the, the moon is the other way, Nelson. Okay, so he's out, uh, listening to his old Scoggins notes. His old, uh, you know, Dale Cooper wannabe thing. And, uh, checking out the moon. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the first game started off with him dreaming about being visited by some spaceman. Uh, which may or may not have actually been a dream. I don't know. A dumb. Let's see. Okay, um, what? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbols complain, compl complain, complain, contains no duplicates. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, no, that one can't be it because there's uh, two uh, Illuminati eyes there. Okay, nope, damn. Um, this way? Nope, two Illuminati eyes there. Ah, it's like sawing off a table leg in a cartoon. Ah, there we go. Uh-huh, it, it's our friend. It's it's our, the hidden people, the gnomes. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. Oh god, they got more expensive. They used to be 75 when some odd a pop. Oh, but we got achievements now. Okay, so you, the achievement costs like an extra $20,000 of taxpayer money, you know. Top agent, yep. <laughs> the gnome in the moon. Nelson, you're tripping. <laughs> Eraser factory is back open, even though foreman Isaac Dabner remains yeah. missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. Yeah, they wanted to let local law enforcement handle the uh, foreman, but um, I don't think that's gonna. Ha yeah, they're, they're the sheriff is kind of incompetent. Who is this asshole in my office? Ingram. Oh, hiya, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. No. What are you doing? Okay, first of all, is there any gum around here? No. Okay. Vegetable crimes. How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, Leafy? but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. <laughs> we haven't had a real case since the Tarot murders back in 76. Oh, God. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle division. Wow. Oh, wow, so the puzzle division is actually not the most shat upon division in the FBI, then. <laughs> Vegetable crimes is actually lower on the totem pole. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, yeah, I do it's mind. Just, it's I'm my kind office. Of a fan. Oh, God. You reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked oh, that God. case wide open. Nelson. Girl spine. So, 
What are you doing in my office? Thank you. Check it out. I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Really? Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Oh, yeah. snap. How about that? No, son, don't you dare. My cat's thinking about jumping up on the table. He's thinking about it. A four dragon puzzle. What is the next number this the next number this sequence? Okay. Eleven. 12 2 Huh? Two. I don't know. Okay, that's it's got to be Okay, I'm overthinking the shit out of this as usual. One, one. Okay. Uh, son, go away. Um, I've got to be overthinking the hell out of it. Yes, give me a hint. The pattern seems to reset after hitting 12. Oh, God. Please. Please tell me. <laughs> really? I, I mean, dude, they couldn't have put, put sending out some high-level arithmancy bullshit right at the beginning of the game, but um, wow. Nice try, Jim. But you see here. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. That Jim is Don't me. Worry. Yeah. You almost. Hey Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. Yeah. I'm going to be taking some work. time off and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. Oh, is he going to be my Diane? You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. All the puzzles. And I'll probably yes. be recording more notes while I'm away. Uh -huh. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through vegetable crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yep, yep. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to wherever. wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory foreman is ah. still missing. There has to be some rational explanation for all the things no. I've seen. No, it's there's really not. No, there's really not. I won't be able to relax until I found Isaac Dapper and got to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. All right. Now nope, Bjorn is not chilling in front of. The oh, but there's a big fat wad of gum on the window right there. Woohoo! Welcome back. Yep, same old hotel. I'm finally back in Scoggins. After all of 30 seconds. The place is a lot quieter at night. <gasps> There's Bjorn. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. Yeah, turn around, Nelson. Nelson, Nelson. Tur turn, turn around. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Okay. Oh, there's another big old wad of gum right there. Uh, wow, um... All the way up there. All the way up there. There's one. There's a gigantic wad right there. So yeah, the deal with the gum is, um, if you're just joining us, Nelson, as you as you might have just seen, sometimes needs gum to concentrate on his. Oh, there's another one up there. On his puzzles. Oh god, is that another one? Yep, that was another one. Lots of gum. I mean, he, he sometimes needs gum if he gets stuck on his puzzles to concentrate. Uh, the problem is that in the winter, Scoggins does not uh, really get any fresh shipments of gum in. And so um, Nelson has to kind of just sort of pull gum off any available surface. Um, yeah, it, it's really gross. And we try to not think too much about that. But, oh, uh, all of Ma's gnomes are gone. Oh my, 
Ma! Mr. Agent Tethers. Yay! Th this is Ma. I don't remember what her last name good is. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Garrett, thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. Okay. Are you okay? I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. Yeah. This is just a personal trip. Has anyone Singer. heard from the factory uh, foreman, Isaac yeah, Dabner? Yeah, that's... What? Who? Oh, no. No, no, no. No? No. no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Uh, really? Hmm. I see. No, totally not suspicious at all. That's I a... never did get to try your yeah. famous hot dish. Ooh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. What? No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Really? Make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, well, um, that's disappointing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ma's acting weird. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House mm -hmm. with all of its erasers, don't you know? Mm -hmm. I do know. know. Yes. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, well sort of. It was no. Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh, Off my, the wall no. behind you. You won't find a stick of it anywhere yeah. in town. Not until spring at the earliest. Yeah. And maybe not even then. Oh, no. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. What? But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. Oh, it's really? It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Oh. Could I get the same room I had last yeah. time? Oh, no. Oh, dear. No? Uh, this is terrible. Oh, no. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up. Are we afraid. really? No vacancies. No vacancies? Why? Scoggins? Do I not oh, believe yeah. that? Lots of, you know, tourists. Gnome here fetishists. And uh, erasers. Uh-huh. Well, you can see here for yourself. Martha claims she has booked all of the rooms in the inn. Can you figure out room assignments that will satisfy everyone, everyone's... I can't words tonight. What the hell? Everyone's requests and spare a room for Nelson to stay in. Okay. There are six rooms at the inn, three on each floor. The guest requests are Mr. Maxwell insisted he stay on the floor above Ms. LaRue. Ms. Dimpleton will not stay on a floor with more men than women. Mr. Blesson and Mr. Carlman always get rooms on the same floor. Okay. So. Blesson. Okay. Blesson and Carlman. Let's see, uh, what, uh, refresh my memory here. Maxwell above Ms. LaRue. Okay. So let's throw Ms. LaRue right there. Maxwell there. Okay, right away we have a problem. Okay. This should do it. Let's see. Let me uh, check one more time here. Okay. Yeah, that that that's that'll do it. That's fine. Oh, it's got the uh, the vegetable research. Oh my god. Hey. Christmas tree census. Oh, new stamps. I like Oh. How? Yeah. It looks like there's a room available. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Yeah, it should ah, be. That room is being uh, fumigated. Um, uh huh. Ghosts. Uh. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. Uh, the the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh heavens, no! Of course. It's <laughs> God, bugs. I hope not. It's uh, uh, painters. Painter. They're fumigating the painters. Being fumigated for painters. <laughs> 
be silly, Agent Tethers. But you just I said... I to say, the room's being painted. Okay. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. Oh, really? But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Uh, she's trying to tell me something, I think. There's subtle... Subtle hint, subtle hint. Let's just uh, pick all the gum off the walls here. Is there any any more in here? What's up with the uh, What's up with the stove there, Ma? Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett. Good. Then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. <laughs> yeah. Um. Last time it blew up, and then I uh, started to try to put it together, and then a gnome showed up and ran off with the pieces. So I'm gonna just go outside. Like Ma says. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Uh-huh. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide some. Hey! Uh, Just snap. heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, whispering into the to town loony's ear. Investigate. Alright, easy Nelson. Uh huh, there is a gnome. Where's the gnome? Where is it? <laughs> Gnome. Um. Oh, it's just the door. Yeah, doors doors sound like whispering gnomes sometimes. Um. Okay, that was weird. Huh. Ah, shit. Look at the night. Look at the lamp. It's a gnome. The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for uh -huh. the night. Uh-huh. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that... Oh, yeah. Is a mystery for tomorrow. Yeah. Or next week, actually. I am gonna call it a night, folks. We'll be back next week with more Puzzle Agent 2. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.